Hi guys, it's Steve Cox with High Tech Legion. We're going to take a look at NVIDIA GeForce's uh, new feature to the GeForce Experience. I'm going to open up the GeForce Experience here and you can see in the top right corner their new feature is the Shadow Play. This is a new in-game recording tool which will allow you to record high quality, high definition video uh, with full synced up sound and everything full 1080p at 60 frames per second with very minimal uh, very minimal effect to your actual in-game play it says as much as 5 or 10 percent but uh, with some of the higher end cards I think that will be much much less uh, I know personally I can tell basically no discernible difference in my gameplay with or without shadow play running show a couple of the options here uh, this is in the preferences tab whenever I press the button on the shadow play it takes me to this screen you can choose where in game to put your indicator to show what kind of recording you're doing of course you can choose the location for the files to be saved I've chosen the high tech legion folder with Nvidia shadow play shadow play videos the default folder folder is the my videos folder in your windows drive and uh, then of course you can also change your keyboard functions uh, by default it is alt F1 and alt F2 I've made that simpler simply by making it F1 and F2 you could make it the one button or you could make it the number lock one you could make it R for record uh, you could make it S for shadow play whatever you want it to be uh, assuming it's a button that you don't use for in-game activities you can also turn off the in-game indicator so that you won't have an indicator at all the indicator does not show up in the recorded video it is only there as an overlay while you play so that you can keep track of whether or not you're recording or what kind of recording you're doing uh, to set up shadow play it's pretty easy it's part of the new driver for Nvidia's uh, graphics cards and uh, the shadow play uses the H264 hardware encoder which is built into the Nvidia Kepler GPUs uh, which is available in the GTX 650 or better graphics cards uh, so any of the new you know new graphics cards are gonna have that ability currently the best playback uh, media player for these videos is the Windows media player but NVIDIA is currently working on optimizing some of the other more popular uh, media players such as VLC and uh, some others. They're also working on um, adding in Twitch streaming to the Shadow Play feature. Now to set it up you go in here to the you just click your Shadow Play it brings up this little box here this little window and you can change to have in-game audio off or have it in. Uh, you can change the quality of the video, low, medium, and high, which will of course affect the amount of hard drive space required to save the video at low 20 minutes is 2.3 gigabytes, medium it's 3.3 gigabytes, and then high is 7.5 gigabytes. Uh, but that is full 1080p at 60 frames per second, really good, really clean videos. Um, you have three different modes which is really two modes and then those two modes combined manual mode is pretty straightforward uh, you start up your game you get it going and then you press the uh, by default alt F1 in my case I have it set up to just F1 and you press it and it starts recording and it will record indefinitely until you press the button again uh, but the real key feature to this is the shadow play which means that you can just play and then if something happens you get a great kill shot or you perform some stunt or trick that's really unique um, then you're able to press in my case F2 by default the alt F2 button and it will record the previous 20 minutes of gameplay that time can be adjusted here in the shadow time button all the way like I say from 20 minutes down to just one minute um, so whatever fits your need better and whatever you have hard drive space for uh, 
But of course you also have, like I say, the combined mode, which is shadow and manual, and you can use them simultaneously or interchangeably. Um, so let's get right into actual gameplay. Open up the GeForce Experience, go to the games, I'm going to take a look at Batman Arkham Origins and uh, have a look and see how it looks in game. Um, while playing, I want to show you the indicator on the screen and then we can take a quick look at how good the video looks when you uh, actually play it back. I want to get a quick close up of the little icon you can see here in the bottom right corner. Um, right here in the area of the screen you see the little white circle with the clockwise arrows on it that is the in-game overlay indicator showing that shadow play is active but it is not currently doing really anything um, but again if I press the F1 you can see it lights up with the green dot in the center which means that it is now recording gameplay and you can see as I run about and move around uh, it doesn't affect gameplay very much at all. They say as much as 5 or 10%. I believe that will be restricted or limited to some of the lower end uh, cards which are capable. Um, as far as my card, it doesn't seem to have much effect at all. Uh, turning off the record, you can see the little arrow pointed down indicator that uh, shows that the file has now been saved to the drive slot that you have chosen. And then if I play and I'm running around, let's say I run in the room here and I'm fighting some people and all of a sudden something cool happens and I say, oh, I missed it. I want to record that. You can see the white arrow, which indicates that that file was saved the previous 20 minutes. And uh, that is the in-game indicator. Using the NVIDIA GeForce Experience to record and replay videos is as simple as pressing a button in the game, recording your video, and then when you're done playing the game, you come out here and back in the NVIDIA GeForce Experience Shadow Play tab, you simply press the open button with the picture of a file here. It'll open up where you have your file saved. You can select it and open it. I'm going to use the Windows Media Player. And then you can see how clear the video is. It is full 1080p resolution. You can see that uh, I'm able to move around and everything runs very cleanly without any stutter. And you can see that it doesn't really affect gameplay very much at all. They say that it may affect gameplay as much as 5 or 10%. But uh, I believe with higher end cards that will be minimal. Hi guys, Steve Cox here with you from High Tech Legion. We just looked at a couple videos that I recorded using the Shadow Play feature in the NVIDIA GeForce Experience. Uh, this is a great, great feature that they've added. I absolutely love it. I've spent a lot of time looking for a really good in-game video recorder. I've tried numerous different ones and none of them were this easy and none of them produced files uh, of this size and this quality. Um, and most of them were much, much more expensive considering the NVIDIA GeForce Experience and its new feature Shadow Play are all free. As long as you do have a graphics card that supports it, that is including the GTX 650 all the way up through the current 700 series, everything. But it must be a GTX 650 or better graphics card. Uh, it's not available on mobile devices. Um, you know, not available on a 650M or 660M, none of that will work. Um, we appreciate you joining us here, but you should join us over on our forums at www.hitechlegion.com. 
and you should like our Facebook page and follow our Facebook feeds and see what comes up new, you know, weekly and daily there. And uh, for daily updates, definitely follow us on Twitter. Uh, once again, it's Steve Cox with High Tech Legion. I'm Promin Yeager on the forums and uh, appreciate you watching.